Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. In the last episode, we kind of segregated the Asian enclosure, Asian herbivore enclosure that we had built before, and set up a kind of Cretaceous era Asian section here. Because this is this is Jurassic, this is Cretaceous. So, yeah, we've got, uh, I got the Alloro Titans moved over, we got some Gallimimus. I don't know if there's a mod to make them look better or not. Um, there was a question about that. Um, I would have to look, haven't had a chance to before recording this. Um, I don't remember seeing one, but it might be out there. And we've got, uh, our Borealisaurus over here. As well, we've got, um, what else is kicking around over here? Uh, Tsintalsaurus and Sinoceratops, which we had incubated before, got moved over. So, they are ready. There's actually, um, another, another dinosaur we're gonna throw in there. Um, we're gonna be throwing Homolocephaly in there. Um... Let's see, how many dinos do I actually have in that enclosure right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I know the Gallimimus are fine with everything. The Aloro Titans should be fine with everything. The only thing that might be a bit cranky with too many in here is going to be these guys. But we can hold 20. So I can put easily five or six more dinosaurs in there. Probably not going to put that many, but we'll put a few homocephaly in here. Um, they should incubate quick. I believe they're from Cretaceous Mongolia. So... Where are you? There you are. Jeez. Alright, what do you like? Uh, ideal population up to 20. That'd be fine. In fact, we can even modify you to like even more. Um, which I might just go ahead and do through a cross species on you. And then... Let's try some cosmetic stuff on here. We're going to incubate three of them. With different colors, of course. Alright. There we go. Now, there actually is more that I can do. And I think that... Um, if we are going to go ahead and do these kind of... Open herbivore enclosures... Let's see. You're, you're carnivores. You're carnivores. You are carnivores. Alright. Alright. Yes, Sugomimus. That I'm gonna redo. I'm gonna redo this a little bit here. First thing I want to do is knock out the uh, the track here a little bit, and then I want to get in. Let's remove. Let's remove that. Kind of open that area up a little bit. And actually, what I might want to try to do. No, this is fine. Uh, 
Oh, there's my little Triceratops sign. I might just remove that. Um, oh. Okay. And then what we're going to do with you, we're going to edit the tour route. I'm actually going to have to make that one piece. Okay. That's easy enough. So I want to have the big... The big dramatic entrance right there. Alright, there we go. Can I get some trees in there? Not in this current configuration. If I can get that trike out of there. Oh, no, that's the Taurosaurus. Never mind. that a little bit. Uh, getting rid of this. We'll throw the door in. Over there. No, 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 no. I do not want to open up the T-Rex enclosure. And then get... A little bit of a of a service access there, and then you know our you know our trees, and then boom, there's our big Jurassic Park gate, and then on into the various exhibits. There you go. I think our Homo Cephli are probably done. And these are tiny little guys. Well, I mean, not, maybe not tiny, but they're small. It's the um. Dryosaurus, I think, that are actually really, really tiny. Alright. Alright, so... And then this one. These do have really nice skins. Alright, we'll get them all tranquilized and then we'll get them moved. Now, what we can throw over here, which is the Cretaceous North America enclosure. So we could put in some Parasaurolophus and the new um, Agathalmus. Because Agathalmus was what? Um, Lake Cretaceous, Wyoming. What can our Parasaurolophus um, do here? I know that they're probably fine with large groups out of the box, so to speak. Um, yeah, they want four. No, 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 no. We're going to have to go with less than that. Uh, Solitary 2.0, which means we can do just one. We'll probably just do two. Cancel. I want to make sure I get a good skin on it. 
1997 patterns. Nah, we'll just, uh... Well, maybe. We'll go with that one. It's something different. Alright. Our humble acephaly are ready to be transported. Getting rather crowded in there. Now the Agathelmus takes the stats of the old Stegoceratops, I believe. Yeah. So it wants three to eight. I can probably knock that down. 15. 15. Two, three, four, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen and fifteen are being incubated now. I don't think anybody in there already will be cranky with more than 15. Well, actually we do. Okay, well, where might I be able to knock things down a bit? Let's see, how many trikes do I have? I have two Taurosaurus. There's a Triceratops. I have two Triceratops. I got two Gallimimus. Or Struthiomimus. Let's see, I could get rid of one of the Struthiomimus, like you. Request acknowledged. And maybe I could do a single, a single Agathalmus if I can modify its genome to be solitary. Oh, it actually has two social genes. Ah, but the Pachycephalosaurs are the ones that are the problem. Zero to five. Okay, yeah, then they'll be fine. With just one. Oh, forgot to modify the skin. Uh, let's throw a jungle on it, and then let's incubate it. One Struthiomimus should be fine. Gentlemen, the weather 
Wow, it just absolutely destroyed it. Okay. Transporting asset. Asset to be collected. All right, that's gonna take a little while. All right, while that's incubating. Everybody should be good there. All right, we're gonna move on to the next, the next enclosure. But it's gonna be a fairly large one. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an enclosure here. Delivery complete. Then, I'm going to use the uh, heavy cable fence, and where do I want to connect that through? Asset delivery confirmed. Let's see, let's come through there. That should hopefully prevent them from mixing. Okay. for the tour route. Actually, I want to back up the tour route like all the way back to that gate there. Get rid of that stand of trees. Probably going to want to reduce the size of that pond. That's good. How do I want to do this? Because I want this to kind of hug, hug that fence there. And head through there. Connect up like that for now. All right, and this is going to be reduced in size. All right, the Agathalmus is ready. Let's release it. Well, that's something. Drink it. Alright, let's just make sure that the Pachycephalosaurs are going to be fine with one more dino. Yeah, they are. There we 
starting to get some sunlight here. Down and ready to be moved. All right, let's get to it. Picking up asset. All right, so over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in some pond. And we're going to throw in a little bit of kind of decorative, decorative look here. On that, that slope. putting over here is going to be Allosaurus. Oh, I definitely want to get some Acrocanthosaurus. i got to figure out where that would fit. I'll have to see. Allosaurus, though. I think I might have an improved version of this installed as well. I think I may have found that. Can't quite remember. But I'm going to throw some woodland pattern on it. Uh, what's one to one? No, we're gonna modify that to be able to take two. That also said so it must be two. Ah, eh, fine. Go ahead and incubate two of those. And Allosaurus is going to go in here. It's a bit of a big enclosure for the uh, carnivore, but it should be all right. Just throwing some heavy forestation toward the back end. too much. Alright, so... Settled in and comfortable. That's good. All right, so that's going to take a little bit. And then this one. So this is going to be like, um, this would be Jurassic North America. I'm going to be using the Morrison formation as a guide, though it's not necessarily exclusive to that particular formation. Need some, let's see if I can tweak this a little bit. Uh, let's see. Let's throw some sand 
around this particular... Let's see. Let's see. Let's... Let's take the, uh, the pond kind of all the way to the edge there. Uh, let's see. Feeder needs resupply. Where at? Oh, there? Okay, that's fine. And then back here, let's see, let's get the, uh, get the sand on there. Coastal plants, Get the grassland plants in there. There, yeah, it's a little better. All right, so the LSRs are halfway done. See, Albertosaurus. I think there are going to be a few kind of odd man outs here. We'll have to see. I'm going to have a whole. need a bunch more carnivore enclosures. Which actually, what I could do is set this up here. Kind of be a bit of a separate enclosure. Because we also have here for theropods well, we have some ceratosaurs, right? And carnosaurs. Well, the Allosaurus is the Carnosaur. But we could also bring in Ceratosaurus as well. I 
I know I can put two of those in an enclosure. Alright, let's see what this thing looks like. I think I definitely do have a mod in for that. You're already returning to base. Okay, so you need to get over here and tranquilize these two. So I can get them moved. And I'll get that enclosure set up. Meat feeder. Goat feeder. How are they actually doing in this enclosure? They just need a little bit more grassland, so yeah, the other one, what I have set up for them should be perfectly fine. Taking a nap. Alright, we got someone who's diseased. Alright, get on up there and take care of that. Alright, let's get to these two beasts moved. Fence broken. Oh boy. Asset collection request. Oh, the ankylosaur is only like 13. Crud. Well, I'll have to sort that out. At least it only broke into an herbivore enclosure, so... Um, oh, I got a Troodon that's sick. Alright. Well, we're at the end of the episode, so I'll have to fix, take care of this and sort out how I'm going to handle that. And now you're attacking another fence. What I might just have to do is sell one of those, because I've got two of them. I think I've got two of them. Yeah. And maybe get rid of one of the trikes, and that would get them down. Oh boy, Struthiomimus is now <laughs> loose. Yeah, what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, get rid of that one. Okay, I got a plan. We'll go ahead and stop here. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.